Hello everyone. I welcome you all for today's session on Digital System Design Using Verilog, Module 2, Lecture 1. I am Mahadevis, Assistant Professor in the Department of ENC at Dhanan Sagar Academy of Technology and Management. Let us see the content what we are going to study today. Today, we will be concentrating on multiplexers. So what is multiplexer? Multiplexer is a combinational circuit which have many data inputs and a single output depending upon the control or a select line there. So here we have two to the power of n lines as an input lines and n as select lines and one output line there. So multiplexers are helpful in implementing the basic gates. So we can use it for a universal combinational circuit applications. So multiplexer can act as a universal combinational circuits. So as we already said, it is helpful for implementing all the logic gates with the help of multiplexer there. So what is multiplexer? It is abbreviated as MUX. MUX is a fundamental building blocks that plays a crucial role in the information processing and the data communication. As we already know the concept as it has two to the power of n inputs. So wherever the data processing is there or in the data routing or data signal processing, we use multiplexers because in order to select the particular signal from the input to pass it to the output, we make use of the multiplexer there. So the process of data selection is essential in various digital applications there. So including data routing, signal processing and communication systems. So this helps in using the multiplication there. So multiplexes are commonly used to optimize the utilization of resources, reduces the complexity and enhances the efficiency of the digital circuit there. So as we said, it is helpful in using the digital, that is the data routing, signal processing. So the hardware required for this one will be optimized and the complexity will be reduced there. Okay, instead of using a basic gate designs, we use multiplexer to implement this one. So these are some of the applications of multiplexer there. Now let us see one simple application of a multiplexer. We have taken four is one max. Okay, so four inputs, one output. For this four input to be selected, we have two select lines represented by B and A. So depending upon the combination of B and A, the respective input will be selected when the B and A are 0, 0, MP3 is selected, 0, 1, laptop is selected because it is connected to D1, 1, 0, it is connected to the satellite, and when it is 1, 1, disconnected to the cable TV. So depending upon the select line configuration, that particular input will be connected to the output that is nothing but to the sound system here. So this is a simple application to make you understand about the multiplexer, but considering four is to one multiplexer with the help of two select lines. Now let us see a different types of multiplexers what we have. So as we said, MUX, the frequently used multiplexers are two to one multiplexer, where it is having two inputs, one output and one select line because two to the power of one is nothing but two there. Four to one, so 2 to the power of 2 is nothing but 2 select lines. 8 to 1, so 2 to the power of 3, so 3 select lines. 16 to 1, 4 select lines there. So this is in representation of a multiplexer what we have. So 2 to the power of n inputs, 1 output and n inputs there. Okay. Now let us study in detail. 2 to 1 multiplexer. So 2 to 1 multiplexer here. The truth table, you can observe the inputs are what? Select line. So select line, when select line is zero, A0 is selected and it is passed to the output. When select line is one, A1 is selected, that is passed to the output. So this is the truth table, what we have written it here for the multiplexer. If you represent that with the help of a basic gates, so output Y is a function of two OR gates there. That is a two input OR gate where one input is connected to the IN gate that is S is zero, then A naught is selected because it is connected to the inverter. So it becomes one here. So whatever we are giving at A naught that is passed. Similarly, when select line is one, 
this particular end gate is selected and water will be applied at A1 that is passed to the output there. So this is a simple representation of two to one multiplexer. Now, similarly, let us understand the concepts of four to one multiplexer. When the concept of four to one multiplexer is there, it means we have four input lines, two select line to control this particular inputs and one output. So depending upon the select line configuration, as we already studied for two to one marks, here also we have four combinations. That is when S1 and S0 are 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. So when it is select lines are 0, 0, I0 is selected. That is passed to the output. When 0, 1, I1 is selected, that is passed to the output. When it is 1, 0, I2 is selected, that is passed to the output. When it is 1, 1, I3 is selected, that is passed to the output. Now, if you look into the basic gate circuit diagram of four to one multiplexer, we can easily observe the inverted output of S1 and S0 is connected to this particular first gate, that is I0. So when both the inputs are 0, 0, the inverter outputs are 1, 1, and now it depends upon the I0. So the output will be the function of I0. So same way for when S is 0, select line is 1. We can easily observe 1 connected to the second AND gate. Okay. Similarly, when select line is 1 and the inverter output of S0 is connected, so it is I2. When both are 1, 1, S1 is 1, S0 is 1, it is I3. So in this way, 4 to 1 multiplexer is implemented. Now let us implement this 4 to 1 multiplexer for implementing any functions. Now here we have taken a function f where min terms are present for the input configuration of 193. So if we observe, we are given the input configuration with the letters as X and Y. So when X is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 are the combination of two inputs. So at 1 and 3, the output is 1. In the remaining case, it is 0. So it is 1 and at 3, it is 1. So now since we have function as four values, for four different configuration, the best way to select is 4 is to 1 multiplexer. As we can observe here, and S1 is connected to X and S0 is connected to Y. So whatever the inputs are here, I0, I1, I2, I3, for these inputs, whatever the function output is there, that should be even. So it is 0, 1, 0, 1. Now, depending upon the select line here, X and Y, the respective function is passed to the multiplexer there okay so, so this is how we implement the multiplexer function now let us understand the concepts of a2 to 1 multiplexer so as the concept says a to 1 multiplexer we have eight input lines there okay so if you observe in this particular figure there so it is we are having d0 to d7 as the input lines okay and to select this particular inputs we have three select lines okay so these three select lines what we have is s2 s1 and s0 so this combination of s2 s1 and s0 select the respective input of d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 d7 to the respective output now let us see that particular functional table there okay so now if we observe the functional table S2, S1, S0. When all the zero, zeros, D0 is selected, 1, D1, combination is 2, D2, combination is 3, D3. This is the functional table of a A to 1 multiplexer. Okay. Now, since A to 1 multiplexer can also be implemented with the help of 4 to 1 marks and 2 to 1 marks. And how to do that one is if you see the output Y is having two to one multiplexer where it is one select line is present. So only one select line is present. The best way is to select the MSB here. Nearest to the output, whichever the marks we are using, we have to use the MSB bit. So now here, since it is only two to one marks, one select line is required. S2 we are considering. When S2 are four zeros here, that is when S2 is zero, D1, D2, D3, D0 to D3 selected, that is D0 to D3. When S2 is one, S2 is 1, D4 to D7. Okay, so this is how we implement 
a to one multiplexer using four to one max and two to one max. Now, similarly, let us implement sixteen to one max using a to one max and two to one max. Now, only change here what we have is now instead of having four to one max, here we have a to one max. Okay. So when select line MSB bit as said MSB is S three. When S three is zero, A not to A seven is selected because S two, S one, and S zero. Where is here the combinations? S two, S one, S zero. From A not to A seven. Similarly, when S three is one, this particular max is selected. That is A eight to A fifteen. So A eight to A fifteen is the input selected. Passing it to the output there. So this is how we implement sixteen to one max using eight to one max and two to one max. Okay. Now let us implement same sixteen is to one max with the help of four to one max. Now here, if you see the input combinations, we have totally sixteen. Now divided that with the four to one max, we have four to one max. So four is to one max we have at the input. Similarly, we are having four outputs from this respect to multiplexer can be connected to the four inputs of another four to one max. Now, since the at output side, as we said, MSB bit should be selected. So two select lines, so S three and S two are selected across the output side. So remaining S one and S not is connected across this particular max. So when S three and S two are zero zero, this A max is selected. Zero one B max is selected. One zero C max is selected. One one this D max is selected. So this is how we can easily implement sixteen to one max using four to one max. Okay. The same way, let us implement for different different functions. As we said, multi with the help of multiplexer, we can implement any combinational circuits there. So one of the example what we are going to implement now is about half adder. Half adder to table. What we have two inputs that is A and B, zero 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 one one zero one one. When A is added, there is zero zero is added. Sum is zero, carry zero. When zero one is added, sum is one, carry zero. One zero is added, sum is one, carry zero. One one is added, sum is zero, carry is one. Now we see we have two outputs. So when we have two outputs, we need two multiplexers with two common select lines that is S one and S not. So this S one and S not are connected respectively to the A and B, as it is shown in the figure. Now, depending upon the combination of the input A and B, the respective output is being passed to the respective function. That is, for sum, if you observe, zero one, so one is selected, sum is one, one zero. This particular line is selected, is passed to the output. That is, function is two there. Okay, that is one value. Similarly, for carry, when both the lines are one one, that is, A is one, B is one. The three input is selected. It is passed to the output that is carry. So this is how we implement the half adder using multiplexers. So now since it is half adder, it is only four outputs we have implemented with the help of four to one max. Now let us implement again full adder using four to one multiplexer. Now since it is four to one multiplexer only, so we have two select lines as we already know. So if we observe MSB. Values we have considered it here. A and B are zero zero. When A and B are zero, that is given to the select line. So remaining the third bit, that is C, is given to the input lines here. So what will be the input lines of the third input? We have to analyze. How to do that? Compare the carry with the C. Similarly, compare sum with the C there. Now, if you observe the first implementation of sum, sum is what? When C is zero, sum is zero. C is one, sum is one. So whatever I'm giving C, we are getting the same thing. So at when A is zero, B is zero, I not is selected. That is C is connected. Similarly for zero one combination, it is when C is zero, output of sum is one. When C is one, output of sum is zero. So it is C bar. Similarly for one zero combination, it is C bar, and one one combination, it is C. Same way it can be implemented for the carry. So when C is, A and B are zero zero. C whatever you are giving, but output is always zero, so it is connected to zero. When C is there is A and B are zero one, whatever we are giving C, we are getting the same value as C. So in both the cases, we have C values. It is connected here. 
when both the cases are one one a is one b is one output is always one so three input is connected to one so this is how we implement full adder using four to one multiplexer there okay this is one of the example of multiplexer now let us see the last variety of problem for the multiplexer implementing four variables with the help of four to one marks now when it comes to four to one marks we have only two select lines so the msb bit whatever we have here we have considered for a select line a and b there okay i the respective input what has to be connected to i not i1 i2 i3 the remaining two bit there the last lsb bit has to be observed what is the function there now to implement one function here function of a b c d the min terms are one at the summation of m is equal to 0 1 5 6 7 9 10 15 in this particular case the output is one because it is min term now implement that with the help of k map here so what happens when we use k map is we get a simplified expressions so combination of k map is a b is written here series written 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 similar here also 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 so what is this particular row represent is what is the input so if you observe it is i naught i one i i two so now after writing the min terms respective positions 0 1 5 6 7 9 10 15 now we have to group it in terms of row wise because what is the i naught input to be connected we have to observe so for i naught this combination when you group it if you observe here it is c bar because zero is common so it is c bar c bar is connected like this you can observe here for i naught c bar is connected similarly for i1 two two groups we have made it because we don't have fourth one there so when you make it two groups what is happening the value of this one is what it is d now comparing this group it is c so the function is what i1 is c plus d that is c odd with d you can observe here i1 is connected to the or gate i2 if you observe i2 it is 9 and 10 here so 9 is what it is c bar d 10 is what c d bar so it is nothing but it is a xor gate okay similarly for i3 only one value is present and the value is c d it is the and gate function so this is how we implement 4 to 1 that is four variable multiplexer with the help of 4 to 1 multiplexer i hope you understood the concepts okay If you have any questions, go to the comment section, write down your questions, I will reply to your question. If you like my video, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon for further notification and share with your friends for their benefits. Thank you.